Hello, and welcome to all my, Mariner, friends. Let's discuss, Fund Convention, through question and answers. It is known as, International Convention, on the establishment of an international fund, for compensation for oil pollution damage, 1992. Enter into force, 30th, May, 1996. Fund Convention was adopted on 8th, December, 1971, entry into force 16th, October, 1978, superseded by 1992 Protocol, again adopted on 27th, November, 1992, again entry into force, 30th, May, 1996. Question, why do we need a Fund Convention? If the damage, is more than ship owner's liability, under CLC Convention, then the excess amount, will be paid by Fund Convention. Example a ship of 4,500 GT, causes oil pollution, then damage causes 9 million SDR. As liability under CLC Convention, the liability of oil pollution license with, the ship owner. As the ship owner, is less than 5,000 GT, the ship owner, will limit his liability to 4.51 million SDR. Who will pay the remaining, 4.49 million SDR? It will be paid, by fund convention. As it was decided, to create a separate fund, that will be used, where the limit of CLC convention ends, and this fund was called the 1992, International Oil Pollution Compensation Fund. Question. Maximum amount of compensation that can be paid from the ILPC fund? The maximum amount of compensation that can be paid for the damage from a single incident is 203 million SDR. If three states contributing to the fund receive more than 600 million tons of oil per annum, the maximum amount is raised to 300.74 million SDR. Question. Who will be contributed, with funds Article 10? Answer is. The receiver of the oil, in that country needs, to contribute to the fund. All persons or companies, in any country importing, more than 1 lakh, 50,000 tons of oil, in any year, shall make a contribution to the fund. Which oil is received in the ports, or terminal installation in the territory of the state? Installation terminal situated, in the territory of the contracting state, which is carried by sea, and discharged in a port, or terminal installation, of a non-contact in government. This is the Indian admin responsibility, to update the oil received by Indian receivers, and share this data to. Application of Fund Convention Applied to pollution, caused by persistent oil Applied in the territorial sea, or exclusive economic zone, or equivalent areas, of a state party, to the convention Question, in which all cases, money from the fund may be paid Three cases money should be paid When contracting, the state received no compensation, for pollution damage under CLC Convention. When the ship owner is not capable of paying for the damage. When damage is more than the ship owner's liability under CLC Convention, only the excess amount is paid by Fund Convention. Question What all is not covered under Fund Convention? Ship owner is exempted, no need to pay compensation if owner proved that the damage is from result of war hostilities, civil war, natural phenomenon, or, intentionally done by a third party, someone hit your vessel, or, negligence or other wrongful act, of government or other authority. Example navigational lights not maintained, navigational charts not updated. Question. When a ship owner is incapable of paying, for the damage under, CLC convention, Ship carries less than 2,000 GT, of oil so, ship owners need not to take, insurance for oil pollution damage. But still, he has to pay for the damage, but if the ship owner declares himself bankrupt, 
then damage will be covered by fund convention. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be adding more videos on supplementary fund later.